What's up everybody? I'm going to be doing a review of Nas's latest album, but I just wanted to show you this video first before I get into the review. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Police doing a fucking drive-by. On this Nas uh, Nasir album, hopefully I'm saying that right. Hopefully, you see, I have gripe about this, and I have a lot of positive things to say about this, so hopefully you're going to enjoy this review. Okay, first off, Nas on the first track with the whole, like, dominance thing, and like, oh, one race is, has to be dominant, and I know that's not exactly what he's saying, but I mean, that's that's pretty much what he means by that. And uh, that's that's not the message that I'm with, okay? I'm with the message that everybody needs to unite and come together and nobody's dominant over someone else, okay? That's my gripe with the main, the first track that starts it off not for the radio. But, I mean, Puff Dad at the end, yeah, he was talking about the uniting and stuff. But overall, that Nas's message of that song I'm not really with. But um, the singer, Os... 070 shake pretty sure that's how you say it hopefully i'm saying it right okay i gotta wake up get hyped for this damn review all right her message of the song was um they're afraid i think they're scared of us which i mean the media makes people scared of certain ethnicities and all this the media does that the media does that because they want tensions high i'm gonna do a whole video on all that all right and then the second track of this album it's my favorite out of the whole entire album cop shot the kid which that video that i showed you at the beginning of the review is tamir rice and the cops literally did a drive-by on this kid they did a drive-by on this kid and this case did not get the attention that it should have gotten all right so that's why that's the most powerful song on this album in my opinion and then the rest of it's pretty good everything Kanye's part I love Kanye's part on everything but then again Nas comes back with this oh we got to be better than everybody you know everybody just needs to be equal all right that's what we need not we're better than you or we're like so I don't, I don't even know what I'm fucking saying right now but um definitely go listen to this album it will make you think about stuff it's a good album all right that's all that matters, okay? Whole reviews where people dive in depth about, oh, it's like, it's completely an opinion. Album reviews are an opinion. So rating stuff on a scale is stupid because it's not going to be that for somebody else, all right? That's one thing I don't like about reviewing albums. Another thing I will mention, Kanye West production on this, it does fit Nas very well. Most of it's like loops of stuff and then with like, very small changes to throughout the beat but that fits Nas's style you know all these other albums right here and that's kind of been Nas's style but I definitely think Kanye definitely adds his flair to it and um where he appears on this album is basically the highlights I would say Cop Shot the Kid and everything Kanye's on that he's not uh oh wait he is I was looking at the wrong title it does say his name on that but yeah his feature on that he talked about the drive-by of this right here this video right here the people that kneel and to get attention towards things they need to have like a, a big poster and a TV playing this video on loop and playing all the injustices and having lists of names and all the injustices that's what needs to happen right there all right folks so hopefully you enjoyed this I mean I did talk about the album a little bit but I really talked more about the message of the album so you know you just got to get the message out and I kind of get where Nas is going, but I kind of don't like his message because, you know, that's that. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Go listen to the album for yourself and uh, make your own opinions about it. Have a great day. Peace.